Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we're gonna do I Can Hear the Rainbow, the quest to unlock summoner. So the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna go come to Brunda Peninsula, is the Koshushu Outpost Teleport. And uh, you're gonna come, like the, the area is located by the beach, so you guys can, can go ahead and, and, and and come to this area like there are some leeches here uh, the Kabuka Ruby is dropped by leeches but this is the best uh, drop rate uh, so the poison the poison leech so now we're gonna wanna kill this leech this is the location where they are located and the dunes the other uh, here in these dunes and the other dunes and you can see that like there's like a crack in there and there is the beach in there, so that's where you go to kill the poison leeches. You can find poison uh, leeches all, all over the place, but this is the best drop. So now we got the Kabunka Ruby. Because that's one of the requirements, Kabunki Ruby and Kabunki Ruby and uh, and be level 30. So now we're gonna go to Windows now. We need to win because they will, the quest is, is, is unlocked there. If you unlock the quest in Windows. So now what we're gonna do is uh, come to Windows uh, to Windows Wall. You the, to access this area is you come from the from the out, outpost and then just you you go to Windows Windows Wood and the Windows Wires and then from there you come to Windows Windows Wall. So we're gonna click on the, we're gonna click on the and then we're gonna get a CS with the master of all the summoners we're gonna talk to him So what we what we're gonna do is gather all the colors of the elements like like uh, electric uh, I mean thunder thunder uh, uh, what's his name earth wind and all that we're gonna get it one by one ahido marujido. And we're out of here to the infinite and beyond. Now the first weather is gonna the first element is gonna be in the west of Paruta that is a uh, clear sky. Uh, <coughs> clear sky is um. You're gonna be outside any city, like you can Bastok, uh, any city is clear sky, so that one is no problem, it's 100% you know, done, yes.
every time that you get you get the element you want to get a cs and you that's what you have to write them down they're going to be seven we're going to get the thunder now you have to be in open world other way it's not going to work In jungle, jungle forest is gonna be the best area to get a thunder element. Uh, I mean, this is water. Uh, water, you're gonna get in Pashmash, Pashmash all. And this one is weather. We're gonna. This is water, water, weather. So this one is Pashmash all. This is yeah, a different area where you can get it. But this is the 100% to the 90% where you can get it. So that way you don't have any problem. It took me so long to gather all the things man for this video. <laughs> so now we are done with our water. Uh, we're gonna Okay, thunder element. We're gonna get it in jungle forest, like I say. But the problem is that I couldn't get the CS there because uh, my, the video where that I took from there it didn't work very well. It got glitched, and then I couldn't recover the video. So this is the best place to get a thunder element. That is in jungle forest. So for L element, we're gonna go to uh, Altepa Desert. This is a west and e east, west and east des uh, Altepa Desert. So you're gonna come over here. You're gonna come to for Coroloca Tunnel. If you're walking all the way over here, but I recommend you to get the teleport in this area. And there is an NPC in Rabout that will tell you uh, what weather is coming after what weather. So yeah but for this one you just when you need the fire you just shout that you need the fire weather and then people when when they they have fi fire weather in these areas they will shout now we're gonna go winds for wind we're gonna go to burunda peninsula uh Kochucho outpost but if you don't find it there we're gonna go to tarogi canyon which is is right here next to it that's where i got the the wind element Now we got we got wind now. So now for the ice, we're gonna we got the glacial area, Saskabar, uh, or this area the the um. So you see the name right there. So okay, so there is this area in Saska, but to come over here and get this weather, you gonna need you gonna need somebody to come over and and, and, uh, and uh, uh, guide you through the the cave because there is a cave and this cave is gonna is gonna bring you all the way over here to get that weather. That weather is there one hundred percent. So you're gonna get it one hundred percent in there. So we're getting it now. But just exit that cave, you know. Besodonia and Besodonia. I don't know how to say that name, but it's Glacier. So, anyway, 
So we once we got we got this one right. We want we got six. Now for fire and uh, Yutunga jungle, the people was shouting that the the fire was in that in that in the in that area. So what we did is we got we're gonna get teleporter over there. Uh, Watchman can teleport you in that. So now, now we are here and we're going to get the fire. When we get our last weather, or our, last, our last element, we're going to get a CS. Like that's the last, the last CS and he's going to, he's going to, what's his name, uh, Kabonk is going to show up in there. And it's gonna break the 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 ruby. So now it's gonna tell us to go to to go to uh, Latin Plateau. We're gonna to, to go to Latin Plateau to finish the to finish the quest. Okay, we're gonna head to Latin Plateau now. I'm gonna cut the video here. So now we're gonna come to this area. I'm gonna show you in the map. Right there in that, in that little area, and we're gonna trade the 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 ruby to a question mark in uh, right there. That's a question mark to finish our our quest. So we want to trade the 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 Kabonk ruby, <laughs> and we're done with the quest. This is the last part of the quest. It took me so long, so many weeks, for to to get the weathers, uh, because I can I have a job, so I cannot be all day waiting, you know. So yeah, yeah. I hope you have fun with this class. It's amazing. I like it. It's not really so strong as as it's supposed to be. Because everything requires MP, so I think I used to take MP to consume, you know. So <clears throat> I don't know why does it have to be like that. Why it's not just we can bring it all the time, you know. <laughs> but well, the game is it's like that, so we need MP to to keep him alive. But there's a lot of gear, a lot of stuff in the in the in the game that can help you, you know, to to hold on to MP. Very soon I'm gonna do the fights as well, so very soon I will bring all the fights uh, to you guys so you can watch them. Because the the uh, it's pretty interesting. Well, guys, that's it. We unlock summoner now. Thank you for everything. If you have any questions, don't ask me. Don't forget. And if you need help in the game, let me know. I don't have money because I don't, I'm not farming every day. But if you guys need help with uh, anything, just let me know. Thank you, bye.